actually in the afternoon of Yom Kippur, when we dive in Mincha, we are quite exa- exhausted from the song, uh, we read the Aftara of Sefer Yonah. And one of the ideas, obviously the connection to Sefer, from Sefer Yonah to Yom Kippur is quite clear, it's speaking about Tshuva, of Anshin Inveh, etc. But I think there is something else, not just the idea of Tshuva, of Anshin Inveh. Because you know, Yonah, He's quite a tough guy. When Hashem came to him and sent him to Ninveh, he didn't want to go. Afterwards, with all the, all the story the, in the baton of the Leviathan, even though when he died to Hashem, if we'll check what is his tefillah in, in the, in the, in the baton of the dog, in the, in the, when he was in the fish, you will read his tefillah, you can see many, many beautiful words, but just one thing he doesn't, he doesn't say, I'm going to go to Ninveh. I'm, I'm, I ask Slicha. Why? Because I didn't go. He's quite a tough guy, and it took him three days in the baton of the dog until he said this tefillah. And afterwards, okay, he went to Ninveh and he did his job very, very in a minimum way, just say a few words, and then Hashem saved Ninveh. But I think one of the main messages, you're not. Why didn't you want to go to Nineveh? Why didn't you want to save this city? Because Yonah was Ish Haemet, Yonah ben Amitai. Haemet, this is his vote, his, his, his point. He said the idea of Tshuva, the naked Haemet, it's not Haemet. How can it be that someone committed so severe sins and after he made Tshuva, everything he just disappeared? And therefore he was against the idea of Tshuva. And this was the reason they didn't want to go to Nineveh. And he didn't want to save them because he said it's Sheker. Hashem, you saved Hashem is you'd give me doubt. Hashem, Hashem, and Rachum and Chanun and Rachapai and Chesed. Ve'emet. And when Yonah said why he didn't want to go, he said because he atati katay Rachum and Chanun and Rachapai and Chesed. And he didn't say emet. It seems he quoted the Shlosh Asam Midot without saying the word emet because he said this is not the emet idea of tshuva. And therefore I cannot accept this idea of tshuva. So Hashem wants to tell him. Okay, you are right. Tshuva is not a met. But sometimes there is something more than a met. You will see yourself after you are in the, in the, in the bad situation in the, with the kikayon. You ask Hashem, Tov moti b'chayai, and you ask Hashem, we will save you. Why? Because you wanted the rachamim of Hashem. The idea is that nachon, tshuva is not midat a met. But there is a midat a rachamim. Yeah, Hashem felt pity for us, and therefore he gave us this chance of tshuva. So I think the main idea of Yonah, Sefer Yonah, it's not about Tshuva, but it's about Rachamim, to, to, to awake the pity of Hashem of us. And I think it's so suitable to this time in Mincha, we say to Hashem, we are now exhausted, we are now almost finished Yom Kippur, and we know that our Tshuva is not such a good Tshuva. It's not a real serious Tshuva, but we know you say to Hashem, you know what, okay, we don't deserve it, Al Pimidat Adim. Maybe our Tshuva is not such a good Tshuva, but there is a Midat Rachamim. You can see how, how we look like in, in the middle of Yom Kippur. What we are, just a far by effort. At the fall, we deserve your Midat Rachamim. You will save us. We will accept the Rachamim out of